Well, good and happy bright Monday morning, everyone. Although technically it's Sunday because I have to film the day before in order to have time to edit and such. But it's a lovely, cool, sunny Sunday here. And uh, I thought today I will share some drawings. And I think I might just take you for a simple little walk down to the beach and we can just sit and look at the sea and have a little visit. And we will just call this a simple video with some artwork and some chatting. I really do love having the chatting time when we are, we chat chums are, on the other vlogs. Um, so I would love to have that somehow be part of this vlog in the future. But I, and although I'm very, very excited to have almost 700 followers, something I didn't think would happen, um, I probably need quite a bit more to make a premiere possible. However, uh, I'm just happy that we get to meet up at the other places. And now to know that the Petricks have a new vlog as well. That's another great place for us to meet and chat. So, well, let's get today's video. And I hope you enjoy the drawing. And I hope you enjoy our chat. I knew I wanted at least one more interior page for our book, which is not a book project I've been working on for our Chateau Lalande. So in this case, I decided to use Ruby in the lovely kitchen. And in fact, I think it was a, a commenter who had mentioned why not do Ruby in the kitchen with um, Stephanie's lovely Stoke uh, pottery. And so that's what I thought I would do. Now, of course, this again is just a very, very rough sketch and I'm just adding some quick watercolor just to show you the layout. Um, I obviously, I'm also working on another drawing for this vlog. So this is the level to which I could get it before I had to get this edited and out for today. All right, let's get to the next drawing. Now this drawing is inspired by my series I've done in the past, which is dogs and chairs or animals and chairs. And many of you had suggested various dogs um, and more than uh, a few people had mentioned possibly doing the French Bulldog. And I've actually used French Bulldogs uh, before in my artwork, which I should probably share at some point. But I thought, let's go with French Bulldogs to start. So by using the uh, one of the backgrounds that we made in our, my last vlog with our jelly plate, which is I was making those specifically for backgrounds to use in this series of dogs and chairs and animals and chairs that I'd like to return to. And again, this is as far as I could get on this drawing before posting today. But here we just have the sketch layout and you can see that I can, um, if I take the drawing away, how I have it. So I've in Photoshop, I scanned in our jelly plate and then I just drew around and took away the bit of jelly plate where the drawing I had made will go. And then of course, this is just the sketch. So I will ink it in, in its final way and then use digital oil and digital pastel. Okay, well that's it for our drawing for today. And I will be sharing the next phases of my drawings in the next vlog on Wednesday. It's such a lovely sunny day today that I thought we should go walk down to the beach and just enjoy the view. I'm not sure if you can see in the distance, but the geese have shown up more, which means they're getting ready to get fattened up before they head south in a few months. I love, love our shore this time of the year. It's not quite summer and it's not quite autumn, but, and look, even my nemesis, the bittersweet, which I'm constantly fighting because it loves to vine everywhere. This is when it starts to shine. It becomes that magnificent yellow before they start to split. See the, this one's just beginning to split right there. And they'll become the bright, vibrant orange of autumn. But right now, they're the golden yellow of late summer. I'm not sure how the sound is. I wish it could pick up the sound of the, the waves lapping on the sailboats and the boats in the harbor. I love that sound. When we used to keep our sailboat out here, which we unfortunately no longer have, um, although we did tie up, tie up our lines, um, if we ever forgot of a night and it would, the halyard would bang on the, the line would bang on the mast. I love that sound. So, uh, yeah, let's sit down. Look, even the bittersweet on the uh, the seashell tree, where we usually hang our seashells that we find, 
during the uh, summer. This year we've kind of neglected it. We have, and that's mainly because we've had zero guests this summer. It's been a very, very quiet summer. Let's grab a chair and have a little seat. So if we move down our path, see if you look back at our funny old house and the steps. Now we're heading down to grab a seat and have a visit. Ooh, I see something. I can, this is why I beach comb every day. Look at the uh, pattern of this. Hopefully that's picking up. See that pattern? That is dying to be used in the jelly plate print. So we'll set that aside. <laughs> my windowsills are littered with my beach treasures, but luckily when I'm tired of them, I can just set them down and put them back on the beach where they belong. <sighs> I just thought I enjoy sitting down here so much each day in the morning and in the evening. And soon it'll be cool enough, we'll probably have our fires. Sometimes we, we often have our fires down in the beach, but we'll be having our fires up more in the yard where I have my little fire pit, but you can still see the sea. And in the evening to have the crackle of the fire and snuggle up with a woolly jumper on and smell the smoke and the sea, it's pretty intoxicating. So I would love to share that as well. But I was just thinking, um, I would just really love to have part of my vlog just be me sharing the joy of just sitting down here and having a chat. I've said with a couple of other commenters how much we enjoy the live chats when we watch the premieres of Chateau de la Lande and the Petherix and all of those things um, because it's, it's a way for us to all connect. I just still wish there was a way for me to somehow incorporate that into my vlog. Maybe one day if I have enough followers I can do premieres. I've even thought of doing um, Twitch streams where we could meet up and I could just maybe sit down here and point the camera at the sea and that way we can just kind of talk and and I could see what people are saying or people could use microphones. I'm not sure how it works exactly but if any of that seems interest to you say in the comments. But for now I just wanted to share here's our view and to just really have a chat and I think it's kind of nice to have a chat while you're looking at the same things that I can look at. And also I know there are many people, particularly in the U.S., who are still in lockdown, and many people aren't even allowed to go to beaches. So I almost feel, with the luck of my, of our having this beach, to not share it seems a shame, it seems a sin almost. So I guess this can be one small way I can share the beach. And I also have been thinking of redoing my intro video, because I feel like my old intro video isn't really saying what I want this channel to be because now I feel like my channel thanks to all the lovely Lalanders and everyone who's, who has come here who, who I've met um, from the chats I feel like they genuinely are interested in me doing my artwork and sharing the space and I do want to share the things we hope to do with the house but <laughs> although we live on an oceanfront property our pockets are not very deep so until we can afford to do things properly it's why many things don't get done. So, but I have been considering doing our kitchen over very much on the cheap with just some pots of paint. And I thought that might be a fun project in the, this coming autumn, we'll see. But I'm probably getting off track. This video is ba basically for me sharing our, the uh, drawings, which I'm happy to do. And of course it takes a lot of time in between editing to make those drawings. So I just felt like I'm coming down here anyway to do some beachcombing and to have a, a sit down and a relax and I thought why not sit down here and even though you can't chat back with me right now just have a little visit with you. I'm sure it's a one-sided visit but and if this content is boring do say so and I won't make any more like this but it is kind of nice to just feel like I could have a little snippet in some of my vlogs where I'm just sitting and thinking about the day and chatting about things so let me know what you think. Okay, well I've got to get back to my studio and work on the drawings. And um, even though it's just early afternoon, I see the settings on my camera probably make it look like it's quite late in the evening. So let's head back up. I'll grab my treasure for our next jelly plate endeavor. I mean, look at the, 
the level of detail on that. So we'll head back up, I'll work on my drawings and my paintings, and I will see you when this is posted on Monday. Well, that's it for us today here at An Artist's Life on Monday. I hope you enjoyed our little visit. Hope it wasn't too boring to just sit and chat on the beach. If you'd like to have more things like that where I just sort of take you somewhere and point the camera and we just have a visit, let me know. I hope you enjoyed the artwork. I'm excited about the things uh, working on. Oh, and I did contact Chateau de la Lande uh, through email, um, letting them know that uh, I was sending a gift and it was on the way just to kind of give them a heads up. So we'll see what happens. I think because the queue is so long for gifts for Stephanie, it probably would be, it might even be Christmas before they get them, who knows. So we shall see. But I uh, will be working on more chateau drawings and more drawings um, in my animal series. So yes, I will see you on Wednesday. Thanks for joining me again, and I'll see you then. Cheers! Michael and Stephanie's dancing at the end of Michael's last vlog was so inspiring that even though I was quite alone, I had to put on the music, pop on my heels, and head to my own dance floor. Why not join me as we dance our way out? And I'll see you on Wednesday. Gotta be me.